this is Dave. Um, earlier I put up a, a video called uh, In the Basement and it just kind of shows what I do sitting in here in my basement studio which uh, everyone can have a basement studio these days or, or a living room studio or wherever you have a little space. It's not like it used to be. When I st first started recording uh, you had to go to a uh, big fancy studio that had a lot of expensive equipment to get uh, to get some recording done which was great and it gives you all sorts of experience doing things fast because it's costing a lot of money and and working with all all the great equipment but now nowadays it's it's uh, fairly easy to do something yourself and it's even easy to take uh, some of these electronics out on gigs with you they're portable and and it's it's, it's just another way of making music um, I like to combine acoustic things with uh, with electronic things and, and try to do it in a way where it doesn't sound like you're just pasting the two together um, the uh, first instrument I'm, I'm showing you here is, is just a conch shell. It's a regular seashell that uh, uh, a little mouthpiece is put on by cutting off the, the last few little spirals here. And as you hear, it makes a, a beautiful, beautiful uh, sound. You can change the sound by putting your hand in the shell, kind of like a French horn. You can overblow it an octave. Um, so it was one of the first wind instruments, uh, along with a, a ram's horn and uh, different kinds of flutes. Um, people just figured out how to make music on them, and I, I think it's a beautiful instrument. My wife is not big fan of the shells because they can be pretty loud if, if you uh, abuse them. They come in all sizes. You know, the smaller the shell, the higher the pitch. You know, all sorts of things you can do with them. Um, and I like to uh, uh, combine that with with, with other things. Uh, I'm using a program called Ableton Live uh, and what you can do with that is you can set up scenes that are interactive uh, with different things going. For instance I start along with the shell with this little it's just a little drum loop uh, and when you're ready to go on you, know, you can go to the next scene Have a little more there, you know, so it builds. Um, and you put all these in yourself. Nothing is, uh, nothing is done for you. It's just like creating music in a different way. And this little, uh, this little controller allows me to quickly go from scene to scene. Which, if you're doing something in a live way, you need that that option in, in order to uh, uh, make it quick. I, if I was having to get, stare at that computer screen all the time I just don't think it would be possible to do. And this is just a real simple uh, simple thing. I, I've seen people do amazingly complex stuff with, with controllers and, and uh, all of that. Um, I'm also using a program called Reason. Uh, very good uh, program generate generating sounds is what I'm using it for uh, rewired to uh, Ableton I'm especially happy with the piano sound Pretty realistic uh, uh, 
piano, especially when you run it through an, an ISPA system. Um, and uh, it's something we hadn't had before. There's still nothing like a real instrument, but it really gives you a sense of that, as well as You know, we have drums here. Oh, that's not a drum. That's a bass. Again, no substitute for the real thing, but it's, uh, it's good. Drums. everything you need at your fingertips here, or your keyboard tips. So you put that together, and also I like sounds that are electronic, but have have moving texture to them. For instance, this one. Really a beautiful kind of magical feel. And when you put it together with the groove kind of thing, and I'll, I'll isolate it. to put all of that all of that stuff together my main instrument is uh, this thing you know trumpet I play cornets and flugelhorns and pretty much all the brass instruments using a little little clip-on mic from Audio Technica which isolates the sound very well you know you're not having to worry about um, finding the mic and, and playing into it because I tend to uh, close my eyes and and drift away from the mic so this is very good for that um, I just have again for the atmospheric element I had a little uh, kind of drenched in reverb You can obviously adjust it, really drench it. Take most of it off so it's real acoustic sounding. When I do some of these uh, live gigs, I'll, I'll like to do something real bizarre sometimes. Uh, this is a little effect called bubbles, and you'll hear why. Kind of a neat thing, you know, with it uh, gets it way away from sounding like a trumpet. very weird thing. I don't use that very much, but it's 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 interesting. Um, also in this tune, I uh, I used a looper. Uh, you see, some people uh, use a looper that has foot pedals to it, and and they'll put something on and and then uh, add something else to it. Um, 
easy to do with with Ableton. It's it's just a addition to the program here, uh, where this is going to be a four bar phrase. So I can put a four bar phrase in, uh, keep adding on top of it, and hopefully come up with something cohesive. Uh, let's see if I can play it along with some. going on. I'm going to wait to the end of the four bar phrase to put something in. some of the stuff you can do. Just a, a, a short little explanation of uh, a few of the many uh, options with the uh, uh, trying to blending uh, electric and, and acoustic instruments. Um, it's, a, it's a great challenge and, and, it's, and it's great fun. You can sit here. It's, it's more fun with more people, uh, you know, so you have more interaction. If you have two people kind of creating together, or three people, that, that can be very cool too. But uh, tonight it's me in my basement at about uh, one o'clock in the morning. So I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this little explanation of some stuff and I'll be back to do more and I will see you on the other side. Uh, thanks for watching.